guys and welcome back to my channel Sarah Marguerite and today's video is a fun one with some color on the eyes okay it's kind of like a sunset kind of look with the purples the pinks the orange and the yellow that I added I personally like it and if you like it and want to learn how to achieve it please keep on watching I really really liked doing this look um the only palette that I used was the Juvia's Place palette. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So let's get right into the video. I'm super, super chill. As you can see, I have on my robe and my hair is pulled back with two hairpins. And if I am applying some primer to my skin and the primer that I used, <clears throat> excuse me, is... Maybelline's Master Prime. This is the Hydrate and Smooth one. In the winter, my skin is very dry. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown for my brows. So I kind of do like the mm face like hmm because it, it helps with finding my arch. And I like to focus the pomade um, on the tail of my brow so that can be the the darkest part and then I gently go in the front and then I'm gonna just take this spoolie part of the brush and brush through that so it's not too harsh of a line but now I'm going to use my little dusty palette, <laughs> the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the medium one and I use, what color is this? Cinnamon for my concealer on my brows because I don't like it to be too light. I prefer something a little closer to my skin tone. I'm just kind of blending the concealer out before I go in with my sponge. Okay, so but, so these are my brows for the day. <clears throat> well, for the for the night, cause what time is it? <laughs> Seven forty-two at night. I'm just gonna take some LA Girl Pro Concealer, Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee. Um, did y'all know that that the price of these went up before? Um, I was telling y'all that. These were like super super cheap. It was like two bucks, and now I think it's like closer to five bucks. And I'm sitting here like, since, since when? Since when? So I'm just using any kind of brush. I don't even know what kind of brush this this is, but I'm just using it to blend this out. And I'm not wiping. I'm tapping. And which and when you tap. It keeps the product on the skin. When you wipe, it kind of takes it away. I'm going to take this blendy brush and use this pink because I haven't, I haven't really touched this palette in a long time. And I just want to use some of this pink right here um, and kind of coat my brush in that. So I'm going to like not wipe just yet I'm going to just pat it um in my crease I'm just going in with another with, an, with another layer to ensure that this pink color doesn't get lost um I don't know what kind of like what kind of look Wakanda what kind of look am I doing today I don't know so all right this is what we have for the pink Maybe I'll add some like add some purple in it, and I'm just going to deepen that crease with, with some of the purple from the from the Zulu palette right here. I'm gonna be very very careful with it. It's like it's this is a pigmented palette, y'all. For real, I love me some Juvia's Place shadows. For real. Also, just a tip 
when you are holding your brush don't hold it up up here and try to do like this it just makes it harsh and like your colors won't won't like blend um as as they should so try to hold it very lightly and at the end so your brush just just, just kind of does the work that it that it is supposed to be doing but it's not too like too heavy or too harsh and it just kind of blends the colors as intended that's what I'll say but if you don't want to do that you don't you don't have to do it you know do do whatever makes you happy I'm gonna go in once again with that concealer take some on this brush and use it to kind of like cut my crease I'm gonna look down and then look up so I can see where the natural line is for my crease. Then you can just kind of like see where it kind of goes, where it is, all that good stuff. Make sure it's nice and neat and you take your time. I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some like pops of color. Probably like pink pink and yellow. I think, I th <clears throat> wow, I think that would look pretty cute like maybe like pink orange yellow maybe let's see if my blending skills are on point <laughs> I'm gonna go back with the pink that we used for the transition color oh I'm really saturated this though okay and I'm literally just pat 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 I'm not trying to wipe nothing blend nothing yet I'm just setting the colors in place before I blend it so I just kind of know where everything goes and then I'm gonna go with the same brush because I'm just mm, nasty I guess so I know <laughs> go in with the with the orange from this palette nice and I'm going to use this yellow from the palette as well tap some of it off stamp that in Ooh. the fallout is kind of is kind of there you know it's not a bad thing but just do your eyes first before you do your face and then I think I'm gonna add that purple back on the end to kind of like close it with this pink. I'm going to do my foundation now before I finish my eyes and do the lashes and liner and all that stuff. I might add some glitter to it too just just because but I'm going to be using today my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade chai i am the same color as jackie Ina. shout out to her um yeah but it's a it's a really nice foundation the this one is medium to full coverage and it's supposed to look and feel like you don't have any foundation on which is really really good because i don't like my face and my makeup to feel heavy I do not like that so I'm going to use my dirty beauty blender and I'm going to pounce this on my face I'm going to take my Maybelline age rewind concealer in the shade tan I'm going to crank it up a little bit and I'm going to use that under my eyes and on my nose. And I would not um, recommend this product to actually use on clients because this sponge is not that sanitary to use on like um, multiple people. I, mean, I think just for personal use it's good but if you are a makeup artist don't use this on your clients. So the liner that I'm going to use is not Kat Von D, y'all. 
Whoa! It is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I have used this one time before. And I really, really like it, guys. I really like it. I'm just going to blend that concealer out now that I used. And I just let it kind of like sit on my skin before I blend it out. And it just helps it to have more of like have more of like a fuller coverage. I'm going to set that actually using some R CMA no color loose powder real real nice and this appears to be white but it's actually a translucent type of powder go over my nose and once you pounce it into the skin the white goes away and it just melts. So I'm just gonna go back and do the other eyelid with the liner now. I definitely am a person that likes to bounce around when doing their makeup. I'm sorry if that is confusing to a lot of you. So I'm gonna use this NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and it's super cheap. It's not the best but it's gonna have to do, and I wanna just add it like right where it creases. That's it, y'all. It's just doop and then doop on this side. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Black is Black for my mascara today. Obviously, I'm going to be adding fake lashes. I don't do a makeup look without fake lashes unless it's like a really, really natural kind of look. My lashes are teeny weeny. <laughs> I'm going to add the Amrezy highlight as well. The first layer of the Amrezy highlight because you guys know already that I highlight in layers. So it's so pretty. Like this is really a nice. This is really nice. And I'm just going to apply some of that to my cheeks. Y'all see that? Huh? Huh? You see that? Because I do. I wish y'all could like really really see what I see but my lighting likes to play sometimes and it just doesn't like to let me be great. So to my nose, to the bridge of my nose, oh, feeling very Michael Jackson-y, feeling very snatch right now, applying sun to my cupid's bow before I do my lips as well and I like to add some above my brow and under my brow so I'm going to just apply some right under my brow and like I said above above the brow don't be too harsh with the brush don't hold it like this just be very light with it <laughs> wow wow now I'm just going to add some gel liner this one is just from like Ulta Beauty and I'm just going oh it's really nice it goes on really smoothly all right so my camera died but what I did was I just added some shadow to my bottom lash line added some mascara um now I am 
prepping my lashes and the lashes that I am using. I don't know the actual name, but I know that the company is Esquito Lashes. I am going to keep it pretty nude for this look because I think that it's just like a lot going on with the eyes, so I don't want to be too intense. So I got the one, the only MAC Chestnut Liner. Now I'm just going to apply some of this Super Stay liquid lipstick in the shade Driver. I'm not adding a lot. This is by Maybelline. And I'm not adding a whole lot of this. Just a tab. Then I like to just kind of tap it with my finger too. Just to blend it all. Oh! Yes, this is really nice. And I'm not even going anywhere. That's that's the sad part about this. So I'm just going to pop these lashes on. These are by Esquito. Like I said, I don't know the name of them. <clears throat> but they're nice. Nice and simple. I don't use tweezers. Um, I've said this before. People have asked me what, like, why, and I don't really have an answer. This is just how I was taught to do them, and it works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, but I just use my fingers, and it works for me. Now I'm going to just add some Morphe Continuous Spray Mist to my face before I add some more highlight, because I love highlight. Hmm. It makes your skin feel so refreshed and at the same time you don't feel it like it's very 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 lightweight just over it's a really blind 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 I really like to be nice and glowy all right y'all so this is the finished look this is how it turned out. It's kind of like a sunset kind of eye. And I never do a matte lip anymore. But I really like the way that this one turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this. You know, if you have made it all the way to the end, thank you for being a true subscriber, a true viewer. If you are a viewer, please don't forget to to subscribe and if you are a subscriber don't forget to tell a friend to do the same we're almost at 200 subscribers guys almost at 200 we can do it we can do it spread the word spread the word <laughs> so thank you for watching this video and i will see you guys on sunday bye